there's the kickoff and the replay of this historic match. And there's an opening mistake, and Porter has possession. That's a penalty. It's against uh, St George, against Goodwin, and Reddy will be spoken to for making some remark to the referee. Cronin. It's away to the left. Wasn't a bad kick, but uh, missed by about seven metres, but they wrapped that up very smartly. Referee signifies six. Gerard back inside to Hildich. Hildich has gone for a run. Way to Cronin out, then to Sokowitz. Sokowitz is up the sideline, turns it back inside to Porter. Ran into Cronin. Bailey. Craig Young's found a gap. Spin it up the middle well. Still going. Looking for support. Gets a pass away. It's a horror. Butler's got it. I think he's lost it. Well, Craig Young had the opportunity to do something dramatic there, but uh, his pass was a bad one. John Peer. Gets a high kick. Has been flattened. John Peard's been flattened again, and it's another penalty where the ball landed. And this will tend to blow away to the left. He kept that one on line better, but... And Robert Stone, I believe, has it, and he's just coming to the field of play. Parameter scrum win. Colt has it. Players, there's a bit of a Barney going on with Stone, and, and knees have been used. Gerard copying a serve from Stone. The referee really, and there's Oling bleeding like a stuck pig out there. Oling is bleeding from the head. And ready again to be spoken to. Let's see this again. We're looking for Oling in there somewhere. There's the incident. But my heavens, he's really bleeding. Edge, Starkey, Jansen again on the burst. That's the way this giant of a young man should be used. Standing deep and coming hard and strong to crack the defence. There's a penalty. Five or six points. Goodwin's kick is successful. Open for St George in the historic replay grand final. Craig Young, Starkey. That look forward. But Jackson's got it and he's under the post. There's the turning of the pass back inside to Starkey. Oh. Well, I don't want to bake referees, but uh, I think Gary Cook's made a blunder there. If that wasn't at least two feet forward, I'm a bad judge. Ted Goodwin from directly in front. And there it is, seven points to nil. Little one over the top. Price is there. Goodwin goes over the top. Price comes back upfield. Don't you, that's a, a classy bit of football by Price. Make no bones about that. Out to Levy. Levy accelerates. He's made a break up over halfway. Good one comes to him. One and a half minutes to half time. St George leading 7 0. Peered with a kick in general play. He was tripped, but the referee says play on as Butler's got it. Hilditch went over. Porter's the down, Edget. Is it Porter? And the touch judge is on. The touch judge is coming from the member stand side. To report something. Teddy Goodwin to be spoken to. Let's see it again. And it doesn't show much. Cronin. The kick. Hits the upright. Rebounds. Well, you don't get it much closer than that. Hit the left hand upright. Rebounded into the field of play. Well, it was taken by Rod Reddy. And at the half-time break, the referee has got... A slight altercation to uh, stop there between Price and Reddy. And Graham Quinn being spoken to as an upshot. There won't be any penalty because players terminated. Stephen Edge there, number 12, the captain of the St George side, giving chapter and verse on the incident that happened. And Edge saying, don't uh, do that again, and puts a hand on Quinn and brings him away. As they come from the field, we look at a scoreline that reads, St George 7. Parramatta nil, Bailey, penalty against Parramatta, offside of the ruck, Fitzgerald now is getting stripped, 
and he will go on the field after seven minutes. And who will he replace? It will be John Bacon. There's some absolute buffoon in the crowd has thrown something, we are, we are told, which has struck the touch judge. Mr. Mr. Bryant Barry. Bryant Barry, is it? And there is another very, very good reason for not having Grog in the ground. And Goodwin, during my dissertation, for which I apologise, has kicked the goal. Well, there's Jack Damsey, who's a first-grade referee, coming on to take up the position on the sideline. Or is he? Anyway, back to the football. We've watched touch judges long enough. No, we've got two touch judges over there at the moment. Danzy is uh, not going to take over. Anyway, they've not compounded it. They've won the scrum. Levy's at dummy half. Peard. Cronin. Breaks one. Lobs a pass to Sokowitz. It's out to Atkins. Goes up the sideline. That's a nice little gain of about 18 metres. Sokowitz. Cock, Peard, Fitzgerald, a long floating pass out to Walling, Walling to Gerard, Gerard sprinting away, couldn't get a pass away, that's another bright passage of play by St George, uh, by the Parramatta side, Peard, Hillich, up towards halfway, 9-0, and you were close with the crowd, Bill, 47,820 something. The kick goes to Chapman. Cock has it. Gerard. Cock. Cronin. A long pass out to Sokowitz. Runs into trouble in the shape of Barry Beath. It's the last tackle. Gerard. Got it back inside to Cronin. It's a ricochet. It's six to go. Came off a St George player. Higgs. Cock. Peard, Cronin, out to Porter, who did very, very well to handle that. Got it back inside to Goodwin. The referee agrees with the touch judge that it was in touch. Also, the Hunter Douglas try of the year, the player most responsible for that try, will receive a Ford gear motor car. There's a scrum penalty against St George for collapsing in the front row. Quinn, Goodwin bleeding from the nose, away to Stone. First class tackle from Higgs there, McGregor. Back to Goodwin. Out there to Jansen. St George starting to put it together. Last tackle. Goodwin wrapped up in ribbons. Kick high. Levy takes it magnificently. He's evading them both. Oh yes, full marks to Levy. Edge, McGregor, Graham Quinn has busted. Back inside the Robert Finch. He's making inroads. He's turned John Peel around a few times. He's up over the quarter. A great run by Finch. And he's hurt. And well, that's taken the pressure off. Let's watch it again. Robert Finch. Weaving and dodging. Levy finally the man to put him to the ground. Stone. Only eight metres away from another score. Edge. Beef on the burst. Last tackle. Edge. McGregor. Good one, tries for a drop. It's a fair goal. Teddy Goodwin, hand raised in salute. The smile on the face of the Tiger, Harry Barr. Cock, Peard, Cock. It's gone to ground. St George have it. Here's the go. Out to McGregor, back inside to Finch. Finch gets it away, it's been knocked down. Atkins has uh, bombed it for them, but it's six to go. As Chapman comes up with it, but they had a try at their mercy there. And there's a penalty against Parramatta for infringing the five yards. Right in front of the post. Up they go. And that 
is the man who scored. Craig Young beautifully passed to Stone. Outside there to Finch, bleeding profusely. Away to Butler. Butler comes up the sideline. Tackle but not put down. He is now. Fitzgerald finishes him off. Finch. Starkey. McGregor. Quinn. Barry Beat. Parramatta really have had no answer to uh, the tactics of St George. Well, whose is it? Oh, great. Robert Stone spin it away. The easiest of tries. Well, Bart's gone quite delighted. Let's see it again. I'm not exactly sure how Stone got his hands on that ball. And our replay doesn't tell us a lot. But nobody made any impression on him in a 25-metre sprint. And that uh, is just rubbing salt into the wounds. Good one. 17 nil. Hilditch a dummy half. Cock. Fitzgerald lobs a pass. It's intercepted. Finch has it. Gets it back to Chapman. Chapman will give him a race here. Back inside to McGregor. McGregor through the dummy. Just received a heavy knock there, but... Uh, it seemed like a shoulder charge to me. Not a snap his win. Let's see it again. Well, nothing illegal about it. A shoulder charge. He's in a premiership side. He's been the side as a halfback all the year. There's Beach throwing the ball in disgust. Stephen Edge trying desperately to calm the players, his own players down. I mean, what possible point is there now? They have 17 points to nil on the board. There's Edge going, trying to cosy Beath along. Higgs is the other player that Beath took a section to. Good one's missed it. From almost in front. Edge. Bailey. The dummy. Kicks over the top. Price nearly gets to it. Stones kicked it through. It's still lying free. It's still lying free. It could be another try. Keane's got it a yard from the line. It's a penalty try, is it? I think it is. He's awarded a penalty try. A full-time hitter's gone. Full-time hitter going in the background. Watch the ruling now. Let's see that again. Oh. Now, it was a case of kick and chase. He was Bailey did the initial. Little kick over the top after he swung out of this tackle. There were errors galore by Parramatta players who failed to fall on it. Stone kicked it through. Porter dived and lost it. The ball was kicked through again there, and there is Peard holding Bailey out of the way. And a penalty try with a kick at goal from Goodwin in directly in front. The St George Penfold side have done it, and they've done it easily. 22 points to nil. And nobody, nobody would have believed the score.